Remember how I said we were going to go ahead to the end of the season and then we'd figure out like Europa League stuff? It's in three games. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It's episode 27. As you can see, we have some Europa League group stage stuff to now join in on. So you're always learning stuff here um, when, you're, when you're playing football manager, at least if you're an uneducated American like me in terms of European football. So getting knocked out of the Champions League playoff first and second leg thing. Not making it to the Champions League group stage bumps you into the Europa League group stage. So I've brought you back because we're doing the draw today. Um, I don't think you can see because I'm here. But on, on the side over here, you have Arsenal. Okay, I'm going to go here. So Arsenal, Atletico, Athletic Club Bilbao, uh, Roma, Sporting CP, Spartak Moscow, Everton. I mean, there's a lot going on, I guess. So let's just let's just go for it. Yippee. Um, I think we are the bottom or the fourth seed, maybe. I don't know. Let's find out. Hop ahead to get all these teams. Oh, Hoffenheim's in the, the first group. Interesting. Marseille. Roma. Kiev. Okay. Monaco. Valencia. Some good teams. Can we get Group K? Because... Sorry if you're a Celtic fan. My understanding is they tend to not do well in European comp competitions, but it could be wrong. Basel from Switzerland, if you're watching Saving Servette. If you're not, you should go check it out. It's on the channel. Um, who else we got? Bestika, Bestikas, if I can get that out. Rapid Vienne, Eindhoven, Krasnodar. Okay, I want to know from you once this loads what you think like the group of death is. I'd say Arsenal, Schalke, it look, doesn't look you know very pleasant. Um, neither does Everton and Basel, but I guess I mean you could say that I guess about about a bunch of these teams. Um, what are we gonna get? Oh, I don't think we can get the part. Surely they wouldn't put us back in with Partizan. That would be that would be lucky, I would think. I don't know how good Valencia and Rapid Vienna are in the in the in the game like in 2025 where we are right now. Okay. Come on, boys. Okay, so we get Marseille, Anderlecht, and Sturm Graz, who I'm not really familiar with any of those. So I'm gonna leave this up for a second, and you can always pause it if you'd like. Uh, uh, uh I'm not gonna do that. You let me know who you think the group of death is: Arsenal, Schalke, Nice. Zrenyski Mostar, Athletic Club Bilbao, uh, Zagreb, AZ, Mietland, Moscow, Bruges, Werder Bremen, Rangers. Maybe that would be a bit, surely that'd be a bit easier. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, Basel, Everton, Kazan, Samp Sampdoria, Hoffenheim, Leicester, Salzburg, and then whatever that is from Romania, Marseille, Anderlecht. Stormgras. I mean, I don't think this is easy. So you got France, Belgium, and Austria. So like, like, I mean, no offense to the the Romanian fans out there, but you know, you'd think that would be a slightly easier draw, but it could be wrong. Again, I'm uneducated American. Feel free to educate me. Roma, Elfsborg, Panathin, Pana, Panathin Ikos. I don't know. I'm sorry. And Astana from Kazakhstan. Dynamic Kiev, Florentina, Standard Liège, Kane. Oh, what is that? Stad Malher. Okay, it went away. Um, Monaco, that team from Iceland that we've loaned out some players to. AEK, Bestikas, Bestikas, if I can get that out. Valencia, Shiva, Partizan, Rapid Vienne, Celtic, Zora, Frederick Stag, Einhoven, Sporting CP, Krasnodar, ha uh, BK Haken, and Ab from uh, Denmark. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... It's okay. Where where did that one go? That doesn't look very easy because Basel is good, at least you know. In other FM saves I've had, Everton, a Russian team at Sampdoria. I'm just trying to. I was just looking at the countries to be honest with you. Um, I don't think we've gotten. A, I I mean when I when I look at the countries, I go like Norway is not the bigger of these, so that's a bit concerning for our future. 
let's take a look here. Okay, it's so it's done the draw, but we don't have a schedule. Why don't we have a schedule? Let's go get a schedule. Is it here? Okay, so we get Anderlecht first. I mean, it doesn't matter because it's the group stage. Okay, three and a half star. Okay, they are missing some players. It would just, it would appear. Okay, six point two five k. Yippee. Um <laughs> fifteen gra okay, this is bad. Ten and a half. Eight seventy five. Yay. Uh seven grand for a seventeen year old. Mm, he's worth two point two million. Let's look at the value. Let's, let me go scroll over here. If I could if I could click it, it'd be great. Okay, hi <laughs> Alright, so we got a work cut out for us there. Um I do believe we are the small team, my friends. I do believe we are the small team. We're the players. Let's just, I, let's just look at the values. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are We are the small fish. Stumgras, could you be a small fish, please? Okay, so, I mean, are those great out players? Okay, because I don't have their league loaded yet, so... You're saying there's a chance? I mean, it, it did give us... Um, I mean, it says we've been given a tough group. Okay, yay. Um, it We received 2.6 million euros for this. So, like, at least financially, we got money for getting out of the Champions League and then money for landing in the Europa League. So that has really, really, really helped us out. Um, I think it's funny. They're only giving 35% transfer revenue. Like, guys, could, could you check the books, please? You, you notice we've got some more wages, eh? Um, and we're rearranging matches. It, it's We're in the middle of an international break now. It's August 30th, so our next league game is on the 14th. But, of course, four days later, we play in the Europa League. So I'm going to bring us back. I mean, I've got about six minutes here. We may just do the first Europa League game. And just kind of go along with that. Because, again, my original plan was just to go to the end of the season with the league. But, apparently, we've landed in the group stage of the Europa League. So, let's see how we do. Here we go, people. We are hosting Anderlecht. Um, if it makes us feel any better, Copenhagen beat Vitesse 4-0. Oh, and they were the away team in their first group stage games in the Champions League. So, maybe they're really, really good. Eh? Eh? All right, so we're playing the 4 2 3 one. We're at home. We're going to try playing control, work the ball in the box like we have been. Only thing we've switched up, I've pulled Por Torp back to the Roman Playmaker uh, because Jonas is at a high risk of injury. We just got him back, so I'm trying to just rest him and not use him unless we absolutely have to. Anderson going to play in the box to box midfielder role. Oystein Stein going to take the midfield or the attacking midfield center. Ockels and uh, Alexander Parajo. Um, we also have Dave Smith, who is suspended, so Ari's going to take over the left fullback role. Roman and Osteval and Granley. Unfortunate news for us, Patrick Fieldall is out for seven weeks with sprained knee ligaments. So we essentially have Zabo, who is at high risk of injury today, on the bench to, you know, if we need to take a center back off. Uh, we have also given Jonas Peterson a new contract from 60 a week to 1K. He's on a key player contract now. He's earned it. I mean... We were just kind of milking it. He came to us and said he wanted one. And I was like, I'm not going to hold off anymore. We might as well just go ahead. He had 16 starts for us, two goals, three assists on a 7-4-4. So, and he's 17. Oh. We, d we didn't put in any kind of release clause or anything like that. Like the, it was like the agent was like, just give me the money. I don't even think there's a goal bonus, which I was like, that's kind of strange. Um, it was like appearance fee, you know, a substitute fee and something else, but uh, let's go prove a point. Oh, come on, lads. Like, let's get a win. Jonas is awesome. Yay. So I don't know what to make of this. Um, because it said we had a tough group, and every one of the I mean, Andrew, like, they, they pay their players a lot, if I remember correctly. I know I remember. I, I've obviously, I've, I've got a sweatshirt on now. It's a little bit uh, later in the evening when I'm recording this. It's like 1130, something like that. So, I remember looking at all the teams and none of it was good. But one of the teams was paying like 15k. Okay, hold on. We have a penalty. Torp is going to take the penalty just because this penalty is slightly better. 
I know, maybe that's crazy. Let's see, did we get the switch in a time? Yes, here he comes. Oh, don't let me down, lad. This could be massive. Oh, that was right at the keeper. That's quite... Quite a, a poor penalty. I mean, maybe he, hit it, he, he just hit it with such pace that they couldn't do anything with it. Well, the keeper was standing in his own goal, so that's generally not something we do. Ari's already picked up a yellow in the first six minutes. That's good, considering we don't have a sub. Oh, okay, two center backs going after that. Could have just let it go, but, you know, maybe they didn't know nobody was on the wing, and they've scored. Okay. All right, lads, let's go ahead and demand some more. Okay, they've had all the possession. I mean, again, it's kind of hard to tell the first six minutes. Let's not watch that. Um, but they've still got all the possession. It's it's not it's not good, lads. Um, okay, bonk, torp. Can he get it back? No. Oh, they, oh, look at the passing. They're like professionals and everything. Like one touch passing, like pros. Ari intercepts the pass though. Gets it up to Parajo. He has no runners. Okay, he's got two. Oh, okay, he's been done in. He he took one extra touch. He shouldn't have taken. He had wingers coming. He could have tried to hold the ball up and pass. And now they are going to come back at us, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to agree with the retained possession. I was thinking we should do that. Other than that, we may go, like, counter. That just is not fun to do that when you're the home team. Uh, but we're just letting them run right at us and score. No! Okay, we cleared it away without giving a penalty. The highlight... Okay, I thought I was going to say continues, maybe? Come on, boys. More direct passing play. Mm, why? Why would you... Why do you think we... Because... Because they're... They have all the ball, so we want to play counter or something. There was another thing. What? Uh, go, go. Uh, Alexander gets taken down. That was that was that was certainly a red. That was a red for me. Roman, long, oh, ambitious. Okay, nobody's there. Excellent, Pembani, Pembani. Come on, Ari. Okay, nice, nice. Not not so nice. Not not. Look at all the space. My goodness. Okay, lads. Counter. Uh, direct. Help. Please. Let's play a little bit deeper. Oh, is this gonna be... Is this gonna be us in, in continental competition? Like, we just smash our league, but we're just not quite there yet? I mean, to be fair, it's like our first, like, real run at this. So, I shouldn't be too harsh, but... You know, like... It's no fun to lose a bunch of games in a row. Uh, we did beat Rosenborg. Oh, it's the post. Oh, oh, I thought they were, they were calling a penalty. Um, oh, they did call a penalty. It didn't give me the option to change it. Who's, ta who's taking it? It's Torp. Oh, my. Oh, right. I, dude. <laughs> First time shame on the keeper. Second time shame on you. Um, but anyway, this is our first go at at continental competition and you know okay well that's interesting i don't know if i've sure um you know we, we we we've gotten the club to where they've got we have money now you know so that's progress we're up to like what six million something like that in the bank so like we can go out and start buying some players it's not i'm not expecting us to win the europa league by any means it's just now you want a short passing play. Right. But, you know, just one of those things. Uh, we don't need to address anything. How about show me something else? That was awful. I mean, kind of awful. I mean, they're all under, I mean, 6.9 for the goalkeeper being your highest rating. That's not really what you're going for, my friend. Short passing play of the rain. That's generally not a good idea. We had five on target shots. And two clear-cut chances, and we only have a goal. You know, like, that's not ideal. Let's concentrate. Maybe that's what we needed. Just a little cheeky, calm, concentrate. I'd take a draw. You know, just get another clear-cut chance, boys. Okay, and Eric Anderson's on a 6.2. That's not good. We're, oh, he's on a yellow, too. Oh, boy. He's going to get sent off. Okay. Okay, Ockels collects it. Oist Einstein. Nice job avoiding the pressure there. Up to Alexander. Wait, how many yellows do we have? How? Mm, okay. 
Oh, Einstein. Can he get to Parajo? Oh, no. He gets to Ocles, who smacks it home. Oh, we've drawn thus far. Do we need to take anybody? I'm, th I'm thinking Anderson might need to come off. Oh, my. On a 6.2 with a yellow. Let's get to the 70th minute. It's not improving. I think, yeah, I think we just take him off. We'll bring on Holligan because he's more, and we'll play him in the defensive midfield. We'll let, we'll let Torp be a roaming playmaker. He's not doing a very good job with it, obviously. Um, and we'll let uh, Holligan just play kind of, he's not very good, I guess. That might be the only problem. Uh, yeah, it's not the best. Sure, you can run around, I guess. Maybe anybody. It's really pouring now. It's getting messy out there. Man, we have not had any of the possession the entire game. To be fair, we have six on target shots and both clear cut chances. It's kind of a shame that they've got four half chances and two goals from that. A bit disappointing. Is that Hendrick's Hendrick X? Like Hendrick R I C K X? Really? Interesting. Okay, long ball forward is hopeful. Oh, they, see, they drew the they drew us in. They're just toying with our emotions. They're gonna smack one home here. That's not very positive, now, is it? In okay, Holligan coming back in that you know central defender role. Long ball up to the top, up to the top. Parajo, <gasps> Parajo scored. Parajo scored. He he like chipped the keeper. That's our third clear cut chance. Let's let's watch this. Holligan, who doesn't play sen defend very well, gets to Parajo, and he doinks it. Oh, he doinks it. That's that's the official term, in case you're wondering. Okay, lads. Um, right. So, substitutions. Um, let's wait a minute and stop. Um, okay. We're going to bring on... Oh, he's playing really well. Um, right. Uh, yeah, you come on here. No, you... you Come on here. We're gonna we're gonna keep him up there. You know, leave the pressure, right? Um, you can drop back and just play advanced play. I know we got two advanced playmakers. It's generally not a good idea. So you can drop back and just you just do that. I mean, he doesn't really know it, but he can play. He can. Oh, tackling is poor. He can play it better than Holligan, maybe. Maybe. And we're gonna tell these guys to go support, like. Again, I don't want to lose our shape too much. I'm okay with losing the attacking midfielder. Um, flexible. Okay. We're going to slow the pace down just, just the fops. Hobostad's like, me? You, you want me to go in? Like, ser you seriously want me to go in in a Europa League game? Okay, boss. <laughs> he's, I'm sure he's shocked. He hasn't played in a long time, unfortunately. Um, we'll bring on Luskin. We're just a time-wasting sub, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, boys. Oh, oh no. There's enough time for this to go bad. I thought I had enough time-wasting subs. Oh, we even have an extra def uh, midfielder. We drop the attacking midfielder. Someone do something. Ocles, get to it. Yes. Nice job. Leskinen drops deep in that. Uh, I guess he's advanced forward, not complete forward roll. Oh, he, he's done his man in. Does he have any? Can he cut it back? Oh, what a beautiful cutback. Yes. Yes. Oh, that was a glorious. Mwah. I'm so glad I we. I'm so glad we bought Matty Leskinen, even though his technical skills aren't rated as high as I think they should be. Look at that. Does. Who is that? Spazic in, and then, oh, okay, it was deflected a little bit, but they had the right idea to, to, to pass it, to cut it back, rather than taking the keeper one-on-one. -on -one. I thought we were going to get another one there. We've got a plus two goal differential, my friends. We have defeated Anderlecht in the first group stage game, unless this goes really wrong in the next 60 seconds or something like that. There we go. Oh, that is excellent. Excellent, lads. I don't I don't know why it shows the other team. Ockel's getting the two goals, a key pass, and a 9.1 9.1 rating. We shall assume we do appreciate their efforts. Nobody cares. 
the dude that goes from a 6.7 to 9.1 does not care. Passionate. Uh, your dominated performance was spectacular. Does not care a lick about what I just said to him. Oh, okay, so let's take a look at uh, the group. Where are we? Oh, we're, oh, there's a lot of... Right, where did we go? Okay, so, a so we're top of the group right now because of the draw. I mean, I know there's a bunch of games. What, one, two, three, four, five more games. And then it must go... No. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess the end of the season. We'll figure out what's going on there. Um, So I think in the next episode... We are going to do, we'll just do uh, Marseille and Stumgras in the Europa League. I think that, again, that kind of breaks it up a little bit. And maybe we do a triple header to end the season. I'm not sure. Um, here's the table in case you needed to see it. We're up 14 points with a game in hand. So that's good. I mean, that is a fantastic result, getting three points when everybody else is on one or zero. I mean, I know, again, there's five more games to go, but... I just want to point this out one one last time. Just one last time. Look at the values. Look at the values. They've got players worth more than an, our entire club. We've got seven million in the bank. Oh, this is massive, my friends. Let's let's go ahead. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking we go ahead and ask for some facilities here. We got average youth, good training, adequate junior coaching. Let's ask for our better junior coaching. How do I do that? Increase junior coaching budget. Yes. Yes, people. There we go. That helps out every little bit. And I think after that, we'll go for another round of the youth facilities because that's really going to help us bring in those really great youth players and actually turn them into great players. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think um, about us landing in this Europa League, you know, I, uh, group. And then the, uh, you know, let me know who you think the group of death is. I mean, you're seeing results now that might influence your decision, maybe. Um, but check out this other stuff over here. I really appreciate the support on the channel. We're over 2,100 subs. It's crazy. You guys are awesome. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.